Hey, I'm Dr. Rob. How are you doing? Hi, Matt. How are you? Doing well. Hey, today I'm going to be checking your spine. I'm going to be looking essentially from the base of your neck down to about your belt line. Okay. If I need to expose that area, would that be all right with you? Yes. Excellent. Can I have you go ahead and take your shirt off? All right. Cool. And I'm going to check the table. Give me just a second. Seems to be fine. Can you go ahead and have a seat facing that way? I'm feeling a restriction on the left ilium. I'm going to check in just a moment. And then the right ilium appears to be normal. Uh, Matt, can I have you go ahead and lay down face right here? Checking the sacrum on the right oblique axis. Transverse. All right, Matt, can I have you come up, take another seat right here? Thank you. All right, just sit up nice and tall. Feel a restriction here I'm going to further evaluate in just a minute. Can I have you flex your head all the way to your chest, please? Thank you. And just relax. All right. Also, a restriction here. I'll evaluate in just a minute. Thoracic spine. All right, can you cross your arms in front of you? Thank you. And just relax.
across your left arm behind your back. Alright, can I have you cross your arms again? Thank you. Alright, go one more the other way. Alright, let me check the other side. All right, Matt, I got one more test for you. Can I have you stand up? Mm -hmm. Excellent. And go ahead and put your feet as close together as you can without touching. And close your eyes, and I'm going to have you just gently flex and extend your head as far as you can comfortably. Go ahead and do that a few times with your eyes closed. And whenever you feel comfortable, just stop at what you feel is about level. That's great. You can open your eyes and go ahead and have a seat one more time. And just relax. All right, Matt, that's the end of your exam. You can go ahead and put your shirt back on. In assessing Matt's spine today, I found a few restrictions that were noteworthy, so I broke those restrictions down here. Uh, immediately when I started the seated scan, I contacted the ilium. Uh, my contact point was the PSIS, and my line of drive was P to A, as well as medial to lateral, trying to stay in the SI joint line. Uh, I noted immediately the left ilium appeared more restricted than the right. So after further evaluation, I didn't note any internal or external component at all when I was just medial to the PSIS. However, I did note a lack of anterior glide, uh, which should be a PI ilium on the left side. Uh, when continuing the seated scan, uh, for the thoracic region, my contact point uh, was the spinous processes, and I was pushing posterior to anterior. And when I got to the upper thoracic region, I added superior to inferior component. And I noted a mid-thoracic region restriction, uh, which I further evaluated. So in that region, uh, my contact point to begin the flexion extension component was the intervertebral disc. And for the rotation as well as lateral flexion component, my contact point was the uh, lateral aspect of the spinous process. Uh, using the landmark, I noted that it was a T6 restriction. Uh, my line of drive was uh, P to A as well as medial to lateral uh, for the rotation as well as lateral flexion component. And my finding on that was a lack of joint play, um, a restriction of left rotation as well as a left lateral bending restriction. However, when I tested the ribs, they appeared normal. They elevated and depressed as would be expected. So it's safe to say there's no problem associated with the ribs in that region. Um, my assessment of the atlas, C1, my contact point was the posterior uh, aspect of the transverse processes uh, just behind the mastoid process. Uh, my line of drive uh, was posterior to anterior and I did uh, rotate the patient's head uh, into pre-tension 
and then push P to A. Uh, for the translation, um, the line of drive was medial to lateral, depending which side uh, you are going to be assessing. Uh, my finding, immediately when asking the patient to flex and extend his head, I noticed that his atlas appeared to be stuck superior. And upon the evaluation, I noticed a lack of right rotation. However, the translation appeared to be 